with during the show? I know obviously there was some issues there. Is he starting to work some, through some of that? You feel starting to feel more confident in what he brings to the table? He is, but I mean, he's behind them other guys right now. I mean, he, he dug himself his own hole, so he got to get out of it. And the only way you get out of it is to keep going and compete every day because nobody backing down. Because Dustin like playing, Bowie like playing, Russell like playing, Wendell like playing. So I mean, there's, there's no way you can just, you know, forget what you've done and, and all of a sudden just fix it. You know, you got to go out there and compete every day. That's the only way you're going to move back up. Were you pleased with the way you guys were able to run the ball? I was. I was because I was. I thought Kansas defense posed a big challenge for us. I mean, they was very similar way Oklahoma. They smothered you at the line of scrimmage with the bare front, extra safety down. So you eight man in the box the whole game. And where they was different than everybody, they put those corners on the island so they can get the safety more involved. I mean, those corners were pretty good. I mean, that's the best two kids I've seen all year. And I thought they was better than anybody we played outside. So they had to run the ball with a loaded box. I was real pleased with what we did. Boo seemed to get some playing time early and then nothing last game. Anything to that or just? That's something that you might want to ask Dane about. I, I leave that up to him. Last week's show was talking about how having those guys on the outside, having Mario and Kevin, makes life easier for you guys in the backfield. Can can you flip it around? Does what you guys do make life easier for them on the outside too? I think so. I mean, if you go to any game, a uh, smart defensive coordinator is always going to try to stop the run first. I mean, because we're pretty good in the backfield, and they know we got a lot of guys coming back with a better experience. So you always try to stop the box because, you know, how many good things can happen on the pass? You know, there's more bad things going to happen than good, but fortunate for us, the good things can happen because those guys are two guys that's playing at a high level right now. So really, you know, you feed off each other. When you know when you want to load the box, you know, we get one-on-one -on -one outside, we got to win. So as soon as you start trying to double-team them where the box is lighter, so now the run game is good. So we try to feed off and just try to really take what they give us. I mean, that's the nature of our offense is being so balanced right now. Okay, all right. There's one thing I'm sure about it's been your evaluation when Russell did this point, four straight games with a touchdown, of course, over 100 yards last week. Just where do you, you see him right now from when you first came in? Uh, just constantly improving. You know, you know, it's the first game he really finished. You know, he, you know, he, second half been nicked up a little bit in the last, in a couple of games, and then this the first game he really got a chance to finish. You know, to the point where they play four quarters. You know, and then I think he's the type of kid that gets stronger as the game going. You know, he may start off slow till he get his feet up underneath him, but. That's why you like a back like him because in the fourth quarter you can continue to hand the ball off to him. They can continue to pick up chunks of yards because I think some of his bigger longer runs was in the second half. You know, so that's what the, that's the uniqueness that he brings to the table right now for us. It seems like he's pretty close to maybe breaking an even longer one. I think it's almost 28 last week. What's your take on that? Is he getting close to maybe even having a longer run? Well, I just think the way people plan is going to allow more big runs. You know, the, the couple of times, you know, we moved, we had a motion, so the box would light to one side. So, you know, you get up on that safety, you make a miss in that alley where you got a chance for a big play. Now you just got to beat that extra corner that's falling off. So we had a couple of times where he broke out, you know, the sideline probably got him out because I thought he was starting to separate from them guys. But a big run, so it's gonna happen just because the, the nature of the defense that we play is a lot different than the first couple teams we played.